Hello, this is uh, Tim with this old arcade. Uh, today we're going to take a look at this uh, monitor here. Uh, it's an uh, Electrolum G07 in an old uh, Stargate cabinet. And I'm uh, going to try to help you guys uh, determine whether to save a picture tube or get rid of one. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty dim right now. You can't tell, but it's got a, uh, a little tear at the top of the screen, a little horizontal curl. Um, we're going to do a rejuvenation on this and uh, see if it's uh, worth restoring. All right, one of the first things I like to do is um, try to see um, that it's got red, green, and blue. Um, see a little bit of blue, a little bit of green, uh, there might be red there, yeah there's a little bit of red there. So we've got all three colors present. The picture looks pretty washed out, so I'm going to lower the brightness here and just raise it. See those lines coming in there? Those are retrace lines. Those will come in when your uh, your screen uh, control is turned up too high. So you want to adjust it down just where those disappear, and the picture doesn't really look washed out. So you have a nice black level on the screen. So this definitely looks really weak. Uh, I'm going to throw the rejuvenator on there and see if we can improve the emissions on this. Okay, uh, we're in the back of the machine here. First thing I'm going to do is disconnect the AC to the monitor. I'm going to carefully pull off the neck board. and then attach our, our socket. I've never had to discharge uh, the anode cable when uh, rejuvenating these. Uh, it's never been a problem for the tester that I use. Okay, <clears throat> now that we're connected to the tube, uh, we're using the B&K Precision 467 Restorer and Analyzer. Uh, this by far is my favorite uh, tester and rejuvenator, uh, mainly because it's got the three separate meters for each color uh, gun, and it's got the clean and balance function as well as the um, rejuvenate. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Got my G150 volts. I hit heater to 6.3 volts. Go over to uh, set cutoff. I'll go back a second here. You look for leakage. Really not a whole lot of leakage. That's a good sign. I set my cutoff to one division. Oh my gosh. This is the red's showing pretty dead. Pull that in about there, then we'll go to test. Oh, the red's warming up a little bit. <laughs> There's your test. It's all in the bad range. All in the bad. Let's go back and make sure we're good on this cutoff here. <coughs> this tube probably has about 33 years of continuous service and it's never had a rejuvenation. Wow. Okay. Well, we're definitely going to rejuvenate this. Um, I'm going to refocus on the neck of the tube. I want I want you guys to kind of see what happens to the, the neck uh, during the uh, rejuvenation process. 
All right, we're focused on the uh, neck here. Um, this uh, gun here on the far right, uh, that's the blue gun, the green's in the middle, the red's on the left. This is an inline gun. So we're going to switch over to restore. You can see that voltage increases to the filament. It heats up uh, heats up everything in there. Give it a little bit. I'm going to start on the uh, I'll start on the blue gun here. Let it heat up a little bit more, and we'll hit the uh, green gun. Okay, so far so good. No, no shorts coming up. That's always a really good sign. And I'll hit the red gun here. If a picture tube's uh, never been rejuvenated, you can usually get two, three, maybe four rejuvenations out of it. And they'll last mm, three to six months at a time. Go back to our, our cutoff set. See if I have any improvement in emissions. Let's swing the camera around here so you can see this. Definitely see we're in the we're in the green zone here now. That looks a lot better, and it's uh, it's holding pretty steady. So um, I think I'm gonna reconnect the. Um, the neck board, fire this up and see what we've got. Okay, so here you go. That was a real successful rejuvenation. We've got a little bit of a purity problem, uh, which I'll take care of with my degausser. And uh, then you've got this um, curl over at the top. We're going to put in that uh, sink modification kit to, to get rid of that. Uh, but otherwise, this is a, definitely a, a tube that I'd want to save and uh, use for a long time. Um, especially in home use, where it's only running a, a few hours a week. Uh, you put a lot of time out of it. Hey, so we run this on the front. And then back away before you turn it off. And the purity looks really good here now. Well, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull this chassis out. We'll install the sink modification and uh, See if that takes care of that uh, curl at the top. Okay, I'm doing this uh, sink modification here. I'm going to start by removing C501.
501 is coming out and it's not going to be reused. I'll just put that aside. And then we're going to pull out 303. Here. We're going to move 303 over to where 501 was. This is pretty quick and easy to do. These caps are non-polar, so I don't have to worry about polarity. Okay, tack this on. Good. Uh, through three. Okay. The middle hole where I pulled out three oh three. That's going to become my, my ground, and the hole closest to the edge of the board is my positive. Let's tack that in place, and fill the old hole with solder. Check for any other cold solder joints. Uh, it looks pretty good. This board's been recapped recently before it came to me. But trim these leads off. try it out. See if that takes care of our problem. Well there it is. Um, that sink modification took care of um, that curl over. Uh, the screen looks pretty good. Uh, there's some little bits of interference here. I think it might be a uh, dirty power supply. Um, so that's in uh, really good shape. Well thanks for joining me on uh, this segment of this old arcade. I'm Tim. And uh, looking forward to seeing you next time.